People are getting really lazy nowadays. I don't know if you've seen this, but the people will go up, non-handicapped people, and actually use the handicapped buttons to open doors for themselves. It's like, are you that lazy that you can't even open the fucking door? You can't even do this motion right here. It's grab and pull. It's not that hard. We find it in like grade one. But, uh, well, you know what? Soon people are going to be too lazy to even press the button, and we're just going to get rid of the doors all together. I can see that decision being made, you know? Fuck doors. We don't need them. I just get away my fat ass. No, I know some people say uh, smoking pot makes you lazy. I see. I don't know if that's exactly true because I was lazy before I smoked pot. Um, I think it just makes you lazy towards the shit you don't want to do. Like I have buddies who won't leave their house for days, but they'll wait in line. They'll wait in line overnight in the pouring rain for the new Call of Duty game. Like they will starve if you leave them with a freezer full of food, but they'll walk two hours for a cheeseburger. I mean, I don't get it. I really don't. But uh, no, I know some people who actually smoke weed like it's their job. I mean, 24-7, just high out of their minds. Which, I mean, I guess is okay if you don't have a real job. You know, I mean, because the most you're going to do is play Halo or take a nap. You know, but uh, could you imagine if smoking weed was a real job? Like, imagine coming home from work every day. Oh, hi, honey, how was your day? Oh, it was great. You know, me and Johnson finished the quarterly bomb review, but uh, we got so high, we forgot where we put it. Uh, no, I think uh, I think a big reason people are lazy is the food we eat. Like, I don't know if you guys have seen this, the Angry Whopper from Burger King. Have you guys seen that? Yeah! Uh, well, okay, well this beast has the patty, the cheese, the bacon, jalapeno peppers, and onion rings on the burger. Like, they don't even come as a side anymore. And people wonder why they're 400 pounds. I mean, you really want to lose weight, just take the fucking onion rings off your burger. It's not that happy. But uh, no, I think the reason why they actually call it the Angry Whopper is because your arteries get angry with you while you're eating it. It's like, fuck you, jackass. But uh, no, another thing on the menus nowadays is uh, the Volcano Taco from Taco Bell. Have you guys seen that one? Ooh, do you know why they call it the Volcano Taco? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It makes your ass explode like Mount Vesuvius. I mean, if the original Taco Bell Taco didn't give you enough diarrhea, this one's for you, I mean, really. So, alright, so I'm gonna assume you guys all have Facebook here, right? All you guys have Facebook? Yeah! Okay, so then I'm also gonna assume most of you guys have at least one girl on Facebook that updates the world on every single little detail of their lives. <laughs> like, oh, it's like, Christina is doing her hair, Christina is in the shower, Christina is brushing her teeth. How about Christina's being a bitch by spamming my newsfeed with all these updates? Like, I don't care what you do every 10 seconds. No, I mean, uh, Twitter, that's even worse. I mean, I can't believe how many people care what Ashton Kutcher is doing at every moment of his life. You guys know he has like millions of followers. It's just like Ashton Kutcher walking down the street, just farting, that I let you guys know. <laughs> but uh, no, can you guys believe what you have to do to be a celebrity nowadays? You have to do nothing. Like all you have to do is just have a shit ton of babies and you're a celebrity. Like look at the Optimom. That crazy lady had eight babies and was on the cover of every magazine for a year. I mean, same with that John and Kate plus eight shit. Is that still a show? Is that Sony? No, I mean, why would you want to watch that in the first place? It's like, you have eight kids, good for you, let's watch you struggle. <laughs> no, I mean, my family had a lot of kids, but we didn't have eight, fuck, I'm surprised we survived with four. Like, uh, I come from a big Irish family, and like most big Irish families, we drink. A lot. Uh, I, I, last Christmas, my dad discovered Jaeger bombs. <laughs> I don't know, that's saying something right there, when your dad brings the Jaeger bombs to the party, you know. Fuck, I don't even remember what I got that Christmas, you know, besides a uh, two Tylenol and a puke bucket, but that was more of a stocking stuffer. Uh, but not only am I Irish, you know, I am Canadian. <laughs> One thing I never understood about Canada, though, is why we have our national symbol as the beaver. Like, I mean, it's not as badass as some of the other national symbols. You know, like, Russia has a bear. The U.S. has, like, a predator death bird, the bald eagle. You know? But, I mean, I guess it's a hard-working, peaceful animal, and that, that's kind of like Canada, right? Hard-working and peaceful? You know, my real question is, how did beaver become a nickname for vagina? You know, I mean, vaginas aren't peaceful. They bleed every month and squeeze out babies. That's not peaceful. I mean, I, I mean, I guess you can make a case that some vaginas are hardworking, but I mean, most of them just sit around and do nothing. I mean, you should, you might as well just leave them at home. So, I don't know if you've ever had this problem, but I ran into two American guys who thought that poutine was a Canadian slang word for pussy, like punani in Jamaica, like that, like they thought it was the same thing, right? So, you know, these two guys from Georgia just moved in next door to my cousin, and we were hungry, so we decided on poutine. And we go, we're like, hey, do you guys want to come get some poutine? And they're like, poutine? Oh, 
how easy is poutine to get here? You know, can you get it without thinking, fuck man, yeah, it's Canada, you can get poutine anywhere. See, at this point in the conversation, I should have realized we were talking about two completely different things, but, you know, me being me, I'm just like, yeah man, we're, uh, we're going to the mall to grab some poutine, they always have the best gravy. You know, they were so excited, you know, we thought we were going to get them late, you know, they thought we were going to get them late, but we were thinking like New York fries or something, you know. Uh, fuck, were they disappointed when we got to the mall, man. I've never seen sadness in, in men's eyes like that. You know, but we felt bad, so you know, we got them high, and then they actually ate the poutine. You know, the one guy was actually like, Oh man, I love poutine more than I thought I would. <laughs> Thank you guys. Great. Thank you very much.